but so it's all cesspool. It's a cesspool. And yeah. you're and you're you're coming out on your social media and you're saying they be hating y'all, they be hating y'all. <laughs> I'm super mayor. <laughs> Let's talk about first Superman. Lori Lightfoot, the super mayor and Lori Lightfoot. So uh, former Chicago mayor Lori Lightfoot was hired by by a bunch of people that didn't trust it. They, they were they were like trying to figure out what is going on. And well, we talked about this before. I, I, like I said, I have to admit I was wrong. I was told, I thought she wouldn't find anything either because um, Miss Henyard would either stop her. I mean, she tried to. She tried to. Um, but anyway, Lori Lightfoot found a bunch of stuff. Disturbing, actually. It's very disturbing what she found. I mean, First of all, let, let's let's jump right into it. So, it, the, the city has uh, the village of Dalton, Dalton has about three point six million in debt. They are done. They they don't have annual reports. They're not handing in an, any annual reports to the to, to Illinois. They're not. Uh, they have a bunch of unpaid vendors, totaling about six million. And and the, um, Lori Lightfoot brought. Um, I mean, she was brought in by uh, the village of trustees, of course, uh, to investigate these issues. And what she found, for example, one of the, the craziest things was that there was one day where they spent forty thousand on Amazon, buying a bunch of stuff. Without having any receipts or anything else, um, another thing she found was uh, the questionable overtime payment. There were policemen, police officers, that were making more in overtime than their regular salaries. I mean, we're talking about systematic failure around here, man. It's it's uh, it's it's spiraling out of control, and. Um, that has partially to do with the lack of financial audits. And since 2021, there hasn't been a uh, a real audit. And it's basically, they've been basically non-compliant, man. And that resulted in all these weird spending behaviors uh, under the mayor, uh, Tiffany Henyard. RJ. Yeah. Um, so you're saying that since 2021, there hasn't be, been uh, so they didn't the real give financial any audit. financial reports? No financial audits since 2021. Yeah. So, I mean, in corporate governance, and I understand this is, this is like politics, but still, transparency, transparency is essential, right? So, especially if you're occupying a, a public office, if you if you assume when you assume a public office you're not there to serve yourself you're there to serve others the you're there, there to serve your community and people the people who voted you in in essence trusted you with their interests they trusted you that you would be able to manage the city in this case Dalton um which is a town but you you that you would be that you would manage it like like a good manager would diligently responsibly not putting your own interest before the interest of the collective yeah. and by and, and the financial reports are one of the ways one of the one of the ways that the public can see transparently what you did with the resources that were at your disposal. Now, if you're already under fire because there's a lot of suspicion of how you're moving, 
how you're you're um, using the police officer, the, the police force as your personal bodyguards. And there's a whole story about that with the, I think it was the head of the the police force that was or that is being suspected of fraudulent acts, etc., which we will not dive deeper into uh, in today's show. But so it's a whole cesspool. It's a cesspool. And you're and you're you're coming out on your social media and you're saying they be hating y'all. They be hating y'all. I'm super mayor. I'm super mayor. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all black. But in the meantime, you're not filing any financial reports. There hasn't been a financial audit since 2021. That's very, very, very suspicious. And now you're telling me, KR, that 40,000 more or less has been spent on Amazon purchases on on one single day. Did I get that correctly? It was a one single day purchase of 40,000. Without any receipts, without anything. Without anything, any, anything to, to 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 so you so you can check what has been spending on they've been spending on so this is crazy. yeah but I mean there needs to be a I mean it's not really I mean it's Amazon you just sign in go to your orders you can look at the list of your last purchases you download into PDF and send it to the the financial controller. Yes, so unless, to prove unless 40, things, 40, 40 dollars rent. Unless that forty thousand was spent on personal items, then it's gonna be a problem. Well, it's not gonna be a problem. You just it's not gonna be a problem to print them out. It's gonna be a problem to share it. Multiply it. That's yeah. a different problem. Because yeah, it's not that it's not like it's not there. You can get it. It's on Amazon. That that's my point, KR. Yeah, my yeah, whole oh, point, yeah, yeah. My whole yeah. point is that. It's not something that you lose. It's on Amazon. You can download it. The fact that it's not there is because you don't want it to be there. Yeah. That's my point. That's the sad part. That's the very sad part. And and that has resulted in in the um, the I mean this this mismanagement of of the Dalton small town city um, has resulted in the Illinois st- state controller uh, Susana Mendoza um, to take drastic steps to halting offset p- funds payments to the village because of these mandatory because these are mandatory financial reports it's not like optional you have to send them in so they can verify whether you're spending as you should I mean, or, or in a case like this to verify why you're overspending what is the reason that she hasn't been handing these out so she hasn't been sending these in to, to the state of Illinois so they have altered about it's about 150,000 I think I saw yeah 135,000 that's what they will withholding right now and also uh, they'll have a potential fallout of 70 um, 78,000 uh, in, in fines so yeah that's you're, you're not only missing money, you're not going to receive money, you're also going to get fined for it. And at the end of the day, it's not her getting fined. It's this, the town that's getting fined. So whether you, you'll you be able to put pressure on Miss Henyard, that's another question. Um, I, I doubt it, to be honest. 